always be out of reach for those who refuse to stay. some kind of an acrobat. Some work done? Sure, have at it.
All's well, Captain. All things considered. Gorgeous day, isn't it? I love this place. Do you need something, Captain? All systems looking good, boss.
they're making a new class of ship here. Hi there. Hello. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Oh. Uh, I just assumed. You know what? I'm really sorry. I should trust Walter knew what he was doing. My bad. Even so, we have plenty of designers. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Ah, right, so you mentioned. Let's move on to solving our budget issues then, shall we? We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears, because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe. I won't rule it out. Well, worst case scenario, our jobs would be safe, and I'm sure the board would only take issue with you. Sure. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Okay, I think you made some good points. I'll go to the board with the kitchen sink proposal and get that approved. I'm glad you convinced Jules to get that larger budget, but perhaps we could have intervened a bit more. Great! That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of... favor? Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but, um... Uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? This is wonderful to hear. I hope for all of our sakes that you are not overselling your ability. Now, I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Uh, yes! Finally, a kindred spirit operating on my own wavelength. You see, while many ships will operate to that end, few ships are designed with exploration as the primary goal. It is my belief that if we build a ship with that in mind, Strata Eklund will dominate that market sector. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration fueled by ordinary people like you and me. 
Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Okay, yeah. Bye. We're all super glad you're here, right, everyone? Well... I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty. I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. <laughs> of course you do. Because you've been in my shoes, and you know it's the only sensible way to go with a project like this. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fires. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming, and no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. Hope we didn't scare you off, huh? my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Oh, really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you! I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. Um, take care, okay? <laughs> you know, I have designed spacecraft for over ten years. So... You must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort in peace of mind. High-end performance. Precision engineering. A spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. I'm glad you agree. Such an ostentatious luxury craft will be the envy of everyone in the settled systems. Later. This is going great! Just... fantastic! Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded Free Stars. Wonderful! Thank you! I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. We'll chat again soon, okay? I came out of curiosity.
velocity, but some of these specs. Impressive. Accounted for. We are ready to depart. Let's get out of here.
Redland is open for business. Come aboard and let's see about getting you a solid upgrade. but compared to a trident. Anyone would want to live somewhere so old is beyond me.
really happy to see you. Everything looks good at my station, Captain. Yes?
Luxury. Trident Luxury Lines. You're cleared to dock. assistance. Welcome to Trident. Behave yourself. Lines. Trident. Trident. Where you can Do you have business here? Welcome to Trident Luxury Lines, where we craft the finest and most luxurious starships in the galaxy. If you have any questions about our product line or would like to book a cruise, I'll do my very best to assist you. Now. How may I help you today? We do not sell ships or parts at this location. And it's not like you would have any use for parts or modifications anyway. A Trident ship is already perfect as it is. Certainly. Goodbye. Excuse me.
Captain. It is pleasant to see you. This place is something else. Well, we're making progress now. I'd like to believe that you can help my team work well with each other again, but we'll see. It's an excellent design, Jules. A ship like that is quite versatile and suited to tackle all sorts of different missions. Well done. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? You know what? Why not? I'll try anything at this point. Stranger things have happened. And since you mentioned the idea, I think you should be the one to lead us in the guided meditation. Just feed us a steady stream of whatever positive affirmations you've got. I don't know if it will solve the design conflicts, but maybe it'll get everyone working with each other again. And I'll take what I can get, even if it leads to a more ridiculous design. So, you're sure about this? Okay, this should be interesting since I doubt any of us know what we're doing with this. Okay, everyone, listen up. Our new friend offered to lead us in a group meditation session as a sort of team-building exercise. Everyone take a deep breath, try to relax, and we'll get started momentarily. <sighs> listen to what she says and repeat her affirmations. By working as a team, we can conquer any challenge. any challenge. Maybe they should. Right, Frank? Don't think I didn't see you. Come on, everyone. Can't you at least put in the same effort I am? My brilliance and creativity will guide us, us, to, our guide our us to our goal. I trust my team. They trust me. I believe in myself and my ability to do my job well. I trust my team. They trust me. I trust my ability to do my job well. We will get this project back on track, track and nothing can stop us from success. From success. From success. From success. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Thank you for leading us. I hope that was somewhat relaxing at least. Yeah, it, it was, kinda. It was fine. I'm good to go over here. You know what? I'll do whatever anyone wants, so long as I never have to go through something like that again. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. Let's get back to work. Well, we're making progress now, I guess. Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of... stuff to it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. cost a fortune to build this place so fast. Let me know when you're ready to launch.
here, perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Do you need something? Hope my employees don't give you too much trouble. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the Star Yard. Thanks again. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. Hmm. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll talk again later. <laughs>
Always a pleasure, Captain. You're looking well.
off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. No bounty.
Never a dull day in the big city. Any troubles you need to share? Oh, your ship come in. Nice ride. Think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. <laughs> 